Out in the vastness of interstellar space, humanity's farthest messenger continues its journey through the cosmos. Launched in 1977, NASA's Voyager 1 stands as a pinnacle of space exploration. This mission not only revolutionized our understanding of Jupiter, Saturn, and their many moons, but also gave us our first up-close view of the mysterious and awe-inspiring planets Uranus and Neptune. Join us on this cosmic journey, as Voyager 1 has just made contact with an unknown force in deep space. As you watch this video, consider that both Voyager probes are still active, venturing into interstellar space, a realm untouched by any human-made object before. However, amid their trajectory through this uncharted territory, something unsettling is occurring aboard one of NASA's iconic 20th century spacecraft. Eerie signals are being captured from interstellar space. Is Voyager merely encountering an unknown force? Are these signals messages from extraterrestrial beings? And if so, are they friendly greetings or potential threats? These questions have intrigued scientists for decades. Since their launch, Voyager 1 has traveled more than 15 billion miles, while Voyager 2 has surpassed 12 billion miles. Take a moment to reflect on the vision that sparked the creation of Voyager, its monumental achievements, and its lasting legacy. Consider how these two probes and their discoveries have inspired subsequent missions and continue to shape NASA's endeavors today. In quieter moments, think about a distant future, billions of years from now, when our sun evolves into a red giant. By then, Earth will no longer be habitable, and humanity may have sought refuge on another celestial body, following the path blazed by the Voyager missions. It's both humbling and inspiring to imagine that even in that distant era, the Voyagers will remain as Earth's ambassadors, serving as time capsules from an age when intrepid explorers from our pale blue dot reached out to the stars. Beyond the scientific contributions of the Voyager mission, the probes themselves have captured the world's imagination by carrying greetings for potential extraterrestrial civilizations in the form of golden records. While Pioneers 10 and 11 carried simple metal plaques, Voyager's golden records were far more ambitious, containing images and sounds that offer a snapshot of Earth's diverse life and culture to any potential discoverers. The Voyager mission stands out as one of NASA's most ambitious endeavors, collectively visiting more planets, discovering more moons, and capturing more images than any other spacecraft in NASA's history. Why were there two Voyagers? In the early days of NASA, flight systems often encountered anomalies that required them to enter safe mode, shutting down instruments until further commands could be received. Given the flyby nature of the Voyager missions, such anomalies could lead to missed encounters and lost scientific opportunities. Thus, having two spacecraft increased the mission's chances of success, a strategy later mirrored in the Mars Exploration Rover's spirit and opportunity. Reflecting on their grand tours of the solar system, the Voyagers provided invaluable insights through tens of thousands of images and measurements, fundamentally altering our comprehension of the outer planets. For instance, at Jupiter, they provided the first detailed insights into the planet's atmospheric dynamics, revealing the counterclockwise rotation of the Great Red Spot and its interactions with smaller storms. The Voyager missions marked significant milestones in space exploration, particularly with their groundbreaking observations of the outer planets. Notably, they were the first missions to detect a faint, dusty ring around Jupiter. At Jupiter's moon Io, they revealed volcanic activity. Additionally, the linear features on Europa hinted at a potential subsurface ocean, and Ganymede was found to be the largest moon in the solar system. As the spacecraft journeyed past Saturn, they examined the composition and structure of its atmosphere. Voyager 1's observations of Titan's thick haze led to the hypothesis of liquid hydrocarbons on its surface, a notion later confirmed by subsequent missions. The probes also identified gaps and waves within Saturn's rings, while Voyager 1 discovered three previously unknown moons, Atlas, Prometheus, and Pandora. Voyager 1 continued its journey beyond the solar system, while Voyager 2 ventured toward Uranus. At Uranus, Voyager 2 uncovered 11 new moons and two previously undiscovered rings. Yet certain phenomena, such as Uranus's peculiar magnetic field and the consistent temperature across latitudes, remained puzzling. Voyager 2's final destination, 
Neptune, revealed six new moons and rings, studied Neptune's composition and magnetic field, and even identified volcanic vents on its massive moon Triton. Ultimately, both voyagers embarked on a trajectory into interstellar space, where they breached the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind yields to the pressure of the interstellar medium. Voyager 1 officially entered interstellar space in August 2012, a discovery confirmed by analyzing electron oscillations during a solar eruption. This revelation contradicted expectations, as interstellar space exhibited higher electron density than just inside the heliosphere. The departure date was pinpointed through electron oscillations and a significant drop in solar particles on August 25, 2012, the day Neil Armstrong passed away. At this point, Voyager 1 was 11.5 billion miles from the Sun. Interstellar space, the vast expanse between stars, is not devoid of matter. Approximately 70% of it consists of hydrogen, with helium making up about 28%, both originating from the Big Bang. The remaining 2% comprises heavier gases and dust formed within stars and released into space by supernovae. Despite its sparse nature, the interstellar medium is crucial serving as the birthplace of stars. The presence of thick and thin regions in this medium, known as molecular clouds or stellar nurseries, is essential for star formation. Initially, the universe consisted of simple elements like hydrogen and helium. However, as stars aged and underwent supernova explosions, they released more complex elements into interstellar space. This process allowed for the formation of stars with planets. Being a shift from the early universe when planets did not exist, molecular clouds are vital in this process, acting as the breeding grounds for new stars. The evolving elements in stars' interiors contribute to the increasing complexity of materials in interstellar space, leading to planets like Earth which have the potential to support life. The Voyager's venture beyond the heliopause marked a historic moment. They became the first human-made objects to explore uncharted territory, where no spacecraft had gone before. Scientists anticipated groundbreaking insights into space exploration and the fundamental question that has fascinated humanity for centuries. Are we alone in the universe? As we delve into the cosmos, the discovery of exoplanets, particularly those Earth-sized and inhabitable zones, has intensified the search for extraterrestrial life. The Drake Equation, though filled with many unknowns, offers hope for determining the existence of intelligent civilizations. Despite the immense potential for life in the universe, the apparent silence, known as the Fermi Paradox, raises questions about why we have yet to encounter extraterrestrial intelligence. Voyager 1's journey into interstellar space has yielded valuable data, revealing intense cosmic radiation and illustrating the interaction between charged particles from the Sun and those emitted by other stars. Despite its age, the spacecraft continues to astonish engineers. In December 2017, Voyager 1 successfully employed its backup thrusters, unused since 1980, showcasing its resilience and potential for extended operational life. As we stand at the crossroads of the search for life beyond Earth, our increasing technological capabilities offer hope that we may one day find answers to the mysteries of the cosmos. The Allen Telescope Array in California recently achieved an extraordinary feat by detecting a signal from NASA's Voyager 1 probe, launched 46 years ago and now hurtling toward the outer edges of our solar system, well beyond Pluto. The observatory, dedicated to the search for extraterrestrial life, used 20 of its 42 dish antennas, each over 61 meters wide, to contact Voyager 1. The telescope recorded 15 minutes of data stored on a disk, but the nature of the signal remains undisclosed. Speculations about the signal range from encounters with mysterious forces in space to the unsettling notion of aliens hijacking Voyager 1. Some even suggest that these signals are messages from higher civilizations to humanity, leaving the nature of the messages uncertain, whether they bring a friendly greeting or pose a potential threat. Voyager 1, now about 151 billion kilometers away from Earth, is still being tracked by NASA's Deep Space Network. Its data transmission rate remains modest at 160 bits per second. Despite this limited transfer speed, the probe, powered by a device that converts plutonium's radioactive decay into electricity, has provided invaluable information. 
However, with its power output decreasing by about 4 watts annually, NASA faces challenges in keeping Voyager 1 operational. Triage measures have been implemented, including turning off the cosmic ray detector's heater, once essential for determining heliopause transit. Although the last two instruments may persist for a few more years, the declining power output is a critical factor. Looking ahead, the Voyagers may only last a few more years, perhaps into the 2030s, if everything goes well. Yet even after their instruments fall silent, these spacecraft will continue their interstellar journeys. In approximately 16,700 years, Voyager 1 will pass Proxima Centauri, our nearest neighboring star, followed by Voyager 2 about 36,000 years later. Both will continue to orbit the galaxy for millions of years, outlasting the sun's collapse and the demise of the heliosphere. These iconic spacecraft may, during their travels, convey a final message encoded on golden records made of copper coated with gold and sealed in aluminum covers. These records contain images, sounds, and messages designed to give a sense of Earth. Although they were meant to last for perhaps a billion years, their actual survival depends on external conditions, with dust grains in space posing a potential threat. Dust particles could slowly erode the spacecraft surfaces over time, presenting a challenge for the long-term preservation of the Voyager mission's artifacts. There is also the possibility that the gravity of interstellar clouds could affect the Voyager's trajectories. These massive clouds, concentrated with substantial mass and gravitational forces, could alter the direction of the spacecraft, depending on the density of the medium they traverse. Additionally, micrometeorites, small particles moving at velocities up to 50 kilometers per second, could damage the Voyagers. Given the billions of years ahead, the spacecraft are likely to sustain some impacts. Despite these challenges, Voyager's achievements remain extraordinary. Originally intended to last five years, they have persisted far beyond expectations. Their longevity attests to the brilliance of their design, extending their missions for decades. Over the next few years, both spacecraft will continue to send data from interstellar space, even as their power dwindles. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Tell us your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.